You're listening to Living Podcariously, bringing you real men's perspectives, unfiltered, unapologetic, and uncensored. Recorded live in the Living Podcariously studio in world famous Cocoa Beach, Florida. Curiously, episode number 13. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Adam. Sitting across from me is... I'm Tack, as usual. As always. Always, I guess. The ever-present. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm always Tack. Sitting to my right and to Tack's left bosoms. I mean, left of him. (laughs) Hi, I'm Andrea Joy. Andrea Joy is back in the house. And she's got nice cleavage tonight. (laughs) Yes, she does. I've been enjoying it. All night. Maybe we should take some pictures and throw it up on uh, Facebook on the page. <laughs> <laughs> of nothing but my cleavage. Yeah. And butt. <laughs> I'm um, take it. You're volunteering. That, that would be an interesting picture. <laughs> you get them both in there. Double cleavage. Double cleavage. <laughs> Double and cleavage. this is uh, episode 13, too, so That's let's right. be careful. That's okay. right. Some unlucky thing's supposed to happen here? I don't know. Are we going to reboot the show again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, we do have a guest. We do today. have a special guest in studio with us tonight. Tack, who we got tonight? We have Jordy Todd Jordy joining Todd. us. What up, Jordy? What's going on, guys? <laughs> nice to have you in wow, here. Oh, you sound excited to be here. Yeah. I am very excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very happy to have you in here, Jordy Todd. Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Jordy Todd's married. <laughs> Jordy Todd's married. Did you get the phone call to go? No. Oh, okay. You looked at your phone and said it. I was like, <laughs> no, it was a joke. Oh. She was like, we're so happy. I got to get out of here. That, that was for them, not me. Oh, I understand. It was the guys that are excited. That was, we're excited? Oh, I could see they're excited. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. Strong like bull? <laughs> Strong like bull? <laughs> Strong out like bull? <laughs> now, well, we appreciate you uh, you coming into the studio with us, Jordy, this week. It's it's So you're, you're a fan. Let's identify who you are. You're a fan of the show, number one. Correct. Yeah. Do you uh, have you listened to all the episodes and pretty sure I've listened to them all. Yeah, even the old stuff. You listen to the old stuff with us? Mm, no, not really. Just no, the new just stuff. just the new stuff. Yes. All right. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Well, we're happy to have you in here. And for other studio, uh, other studio, for other guests and listeners that might like to to come into studio, just shoot us an email at show at livingpodcariously dot com uh, for a small donation of what did you give a hundred dollars today, Jordy? What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now we we I love bought my way into the show. <laughs> <laughs> show up with beer, and you're uh, you're in the studio. <laughs> yeah. No, so we got a we got a fun show this week, Tack. We got a yep. quite a few topics to go over. Indeed. Um, one of the first things that I wanted to bring up to you, because you and I both work in this industry where I took my son for this. Right. Uh, last week, last Thursday, was National, like, well, you know it. Actually, everybody in the room already knows it. Was National Take Your Child to Work Day. I actually didn't even know about it. So. April 28th, I think it was, if that's uh, right. Yeah, it was the 28th. And at uh, my salon, we actually did that by not bringing any kids to work. <laughs> they did just the opposite. They that's gave our them. sanctuary away from kids. Yeah. <laughs> I think I want to come up there and hang out no kids. Uh, no, but I took my son. So my son, Josh, he's 12. That's cool. And he is super, super into the space program. And awesome. as some of our listeners know, <laughs> Jordy, you fucking rookie. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right up the... Go, have you ever done this kind of stuff before? No. Obviously not. <laughs> I think he's bored with our conversation. No, right? no. I was trying to do... So I apologize. <laughs> we, we're gonna have to work on this guest first day. <laughs> guest a little bit. We must beat them first. Uh. <laughs> um, but no, my son is big time into the space program, and our listeners awesome. know that you and I both kind of work in that arena. I mean, right, we can't right. get too te- technically detailed into what we do, right. just because we are not supposed to. Right. But um, I brought my son out to the space center and took him around to all the sites and took him out to the vehicle assembly building and yep. to some of the old launch pads and what took him to see the big crawler. And that's the thing mm-hmm. that used to crawl the shuttles out to the pads. Yep, yep. Just some awe inspiring things. His grandfather was, uh, had worked out there for like 30 years. His grandfather on his mom's side, his grandfather just this last year died. And mm. Josh has one half of his room at his mother's with all the space shuttles and ro- like replica rockets of the, yeah. you know, obviously scaled down sizes, but. Yeah, that whole corner of his room is dedicated to NASA and the space program, so it's a big deal to him. So yeah. he was super excited. I made That's him. Awesome. I made him dress up. So I always dress up for work. Right. I, I remember I, I met you out there one day. And I was like, "Why are you so dressed up, dude? Like 
You go over to I work at SpaceX. You go over there. Everybody there wears jeans and t-shirts. Like, that's that's kind of like at NASA as well. Everybody <laughs> you know. wears jeans, and even like the smartest engineers out there are dressed in jeans and like maybe a polo, probably not. Usually a t-shirt. But uh, I dressed up, and when I dress up, and which is long sleeves, slacks, nice shoes. You know, nice. I look nice. And then right. I made my son dress the same way. He didn't right. mind because he likes dressing up too. Yeah. So we're walking out there and there are 750 kids there. It's Holy not like a little deal. Shit. This is a huge thing. The company I work for had 125 kids there. Damn. Every one of these fucking kids were in flip flops and shorts and, you know, they were just casual how you, there. How do you get any work done like on those kind of days? It's difficult. Most of the people that were contractors had to take personal time for that day. I actually worked while I was there and then also did some personal time stuff too. So Josh would hang out with me in the office. I'd take him to meet some people. We'd go out and see a cool site, come back, do a little bit more work. He'd sit down, play video games. Hey, whatever. Mm, Repeat that's that. That's cool. Repeat that. We went all over the base. All over the base. Nice. But except yeah. you didn't come see me, but hey, whatever. Yeah, that's the right I did. I should have. I should have <laughs> sent good. you. Could you have got me anywhere cool? Uh, Any special access? Could I have touched a rocket? You can go ahead and uh, no, say so I wouldn't now. be able to get you down there. You could say you could have now. Oh, yeah, totally. I could have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably would have you been missed out. underwhelming. <laughs> you probably wouldn't be able to come to the like the launch pad, and that's been a most Well, you're thing really gotten. selling it there, aren't you? <laughs> you could have gotten Still, in the cool rocket. We would have shot you to space. <laughs> yeah. You missed it. Totally missed out. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it was pretty fun. So That's cool. Andrea does uh, – uh, Jordy, Andrea is in um, – Hair styling. She she does. She's a stylist for a salon. You know kind of what me and Tack do now. Do you want to share a little bit about what you do for a living? Is that just in retail? Retail. Yeah. Retail. It is. I was retail for a while. I had one boss me when too. I was when I was working at a shoe store way back in the day. I did too. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy is <was, laughs> a dick. Dick. Yeah. However, he did tell me one thing that I'll remember for the rest of my what life. You if you want to be on time to work, you need to be fifteen minutes early. Oh yeah, yeah, I learned that when I was in the military. Sounds like a smart guy. To show up pretty early solid on advice. Time and showing up on time is late. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep exactly. Uh, all right. So, Tech, you like the circus, right? <laughs> I, I, don't I know was where just this about to say we were talking especially about jobs. the bearded lady. <laughs> I wanted to be a tightrope walker in the circus in third grade. That was my dream job. Did you really? Yes. Have you ever tried it? Have you ever like set up a tightrope in the backyard or? Oh, just like every day. That <laughs> <laughs> was really good too. <laughs> I, I fall down a lot though. Did you see the movie? Which movie? I don't remember the name. It was Elephant the Water or something? Life. What? Was elephant Whisperer? No, no, it was like some elephants to water, water for elephants. Water for elephants. Yeah. yeah. I knew elephants? I wasn't making it up. No, 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 that's that's a real movie, but I don't think it's, it has anything to do with elephants. Is it the does one it? about how bad the circus is? It's, I don't no, know. It's, it's some... the uh, the movie with um, what's his head? You mean it? Bozo the Clown? What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> We're still talking. Talk about the amongst yourselves. I'll give, you a story. Story. give you a time. <laughs> The peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. Disgust. <laughs> but we made there a time better. capsule in the third grade with our jobs in it, and mine is in there as the tightrope walker in the circus. Oh, when does the time capsule get opened up? It was supposed to be 1999, <laughs> but they ended up building more school over the area where we built it, so it's it'll be there till the zombies come or something. <laughs> well, something is happening. With the Barnum and Bailey Circus, one of the most famous circuses of the, you walk. Know, the U.S. Sorry, the Walk. It's got Joseph Gordon Levitt. No. It's like a true story about this tight rope walker guy. Anyway, sorry, I never heard of it. I thought that was the movie about Johnny Cash. <laughs> That's Walk the Line. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a tight rope walking I, movie. Yeah, walk exactly. The walk line. the Line. It's very good. I mean, you're kind of on topic there. <laughs> that would work. Uh, I I think I'm right on. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, some, something is is leaving the circus after a hundred years of a you know youth defining thing for me for the circus. Something is leaving the circus. Bozo the clown. Nope. Elephants. Clowns in general. Yes, elephants. They had a huge movie about all the horrible things with elephants. I bet there was a controversy. Peta about that. Peta finally had an effect on it. <laughs> Shamu. <laughs> Shamu leaving the circus. Shamu nope. is leaving SeaWorld, though. Yeah. yeah. All, all the SeaWorlds. Bye, yeah. fish. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's half the story. It's not in And it's mostly calls. exaggerated. Who's PETA? Sorry. <laughs> People <laughs> eating tasty animals. <laughs> what? People e- e- oh, eating tasty animals. Yeah, People yeah. for eating tasty animals, yes. Yeah. PETA? <laughs> The curtain fell a final time for elephants performing at Ringling Brothers in Barnum and Bailey Circus, 
as the circus ended a practice that enthralled audiences for two centuries, but became caught between animal rights activists' concerns and Americans' shifting views. So PETA and the sensitivity of Americans, a.k.a. the pussification of America, yes, I coined, I, I use that coin <laughs> phrase, um, have had an effect on taking animals out of the circus. And I want to get your guys' take on it. Talk about really well, I think I think it's a, an awesome idea. I think we discussed this recently. They used to do some horrible shit back in the day. Yeah. You know, you go to the oh, world, the- go to the world's fair, and I used to see a horse jump from, you know, it used to just throw horses off like these high yeah. dives and shit. Land you know? them in a little kiddie pool <laughs> yeah. full of water from like 80 feet up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, no, he likes it. He loves it. Yeah, no. Look, he gets right up and runs yeah. right out. Yeah, Look how the scared. guy, like, <laughs> jabs him in his ass. They really are horrible to the elephants, though. You know, that was back like, early 1900s, you know, and then there's no way you get away with that shit now, and that's horrible to yeah. do. Yeah, agreed. agreed. There's a lot of abuse in there. Yeah, so the I, I see... I see the future of circuses just dealing with like with dogs and shit like that, you know. But well, then, no, with humans. Well, the, humans when obviously. I went to the circus but any kind of animal tricks ago. or shows was going to be things like dogs or something like that. You know, dogs are trained; they're not abused. Well, I went be, to the right? circus a year ago, the same one. Um, but they have like all all these girls that they put their hair up and tie them up, and okay. they're all like tied together with their hair. Keep and, going. <laughs> 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 and they tickle each other. <laughs> They even had a unicorn there. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, but eventually you're going to see all animals. It was, the, it was a naked gone, man yeah. sitting on the head of a horse. But it all wasn't the a human unicorn. contortionists. It's like a horse with a seat on his head. <laughs> the human contortionists and stuff. They can yeah, do a lot yeah. of interesting shows and entertainment. Yeah. So the circus is going to change. So what we were used to as kids with a circus, and maybe even our kids too might have seen it, is we'll know our next generation of youth. Will not have in the U.S. at least. No. Will not have this kind of circus to go. They're and not going to have like the. Lions they don't want to go anyway. They have the internet. Have yeah, that's a good point. They can watch the the elephants trample the crowds on YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, but it's, so it's it's nostalgic to me to to look back at rem- and remember the circus as being this you know cool thing to go see these animals that I would never ever get to see you know short of having privileged parents to take me somewhere or whatever. Zoo. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Having having the ability to go to those spaces. The zoo ain't cheap anymore, bud. If you go to a good zoo at a like or not even Orlando, Orlando's got Disney. If you go to a good zoo in like Atlanta or something, you're spending 150 bucks for the day. I mean, you're spending pretty good pretty yeah. good penny to go to something like that. So you've got to have a little bit of cash to to be able to go to one the of those. The Brevard things. Zoo is actually pretty good. They don't have elephants though. They have giraffes. I don't want to see the elephants. Well, if it's PETA has small. if PETA has their way, they won't be there either though. Who's PETA? The giraffes are so. awesome. <laughs> You get to right. feed the giraffes. You get to pet the giraffes. Yeah, yeah. But they aren't living in their natural habitat. As long as they have enough room. Uh, Otherwise, they can move to Disney. Peta, Peta might argue with you there. No, no, that's the whole point of bringing this up. Is what where what draws the line? Where do you stop? You know, the influence that those activists have for, for to allowing us to see these types of things in zoos and right. in captivity i, I guess think they're really... just gonna have just higher standards just like she's saying that there's got to be so many square feet there's got to be they have to be able to feel or appear that they're like in the wild so know? are you saying if if barnum and bailey had a, a, a range for these elephants to go you know, hang out in, and then they it brought them in just for the performance. There's probably more to it than that. It's probably, you know, they're who being knows trained. What, yeah, they're oh, being okay. trained. They're plus they're being shipped constantly. At know? the zoo, they're it's just not right. a life living for their animal. life. That's not a life for animals. Did you ever see Dumbo? <laughs> like the whole no. beginning? Exactly. It's horrible. Elephants shouldn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's funny is that she's not even laughing at her own joke. That's just it's hilarious. It's the truth. <laughs> That's the trick in podcasting, Andrew. You have to laugh at your own jokes. <laughs> no, listen listen to me and talk. It made it funnier just by the fact that she looks so serious <laughs> and concerned. Like, they made that poor elephant fly. He was probably even without shitless. his red feather. Right? So you guys support PETA. I mean, I, are you a PETA? Not an activist. I, I know nobody I'm here a, is an yeah, activist. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't like animal abuse. I don't, I don't I, I condone anything like rights. that. I love animals. And animal, animal rights. rights yeah. I'll still eat the hell out of a steak and shit like that. Oh, okay. So but I won't like kill an animal. Of eta, pita. Eta. <laughs> I like him in a pita. And <laughs> 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 That's awesome. <laughs> and, and I support the foundation. Jordy, <laughs> what about you? I like, um, apparently now I'm really thinking about it, I really like elephants and orcas. <clears throat> But fuck cows and chickens. <laughs> so but, the but circus fuck. will be cows and chickens now. 
Yeah, then I'm screwed. Now, if you then can I make have a, to eat vegan lasagna. If you can make a cow balance on one of those balls like those elephants, I might be back into going back to the to the to the fair again. <laughs> see if he can circus. Roll, see if he can roll himself right into the blades. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, so I'm taking as it as long as he was grain fed and lived in a grassy place and everything, then it's all good. I'm, yes, <laughs> it's a free range cow. What, what if you hooked a cow up to VR and made him think he was in this free range area, but really he was in this little <laughs> confined space? The cow would think he was being taken well care of. That might work. That's with actually a small interesting. Cow brain. Can you do that with the elephants and the orcas? <laughs> the one on each side for the orcas. <laughs> what would be really awesome is to put like a totally different place on one eye than the other eye. Really screw with it. <laughs> yeah, like on this side, it's got the ocean. Yeah, this side. And the other is side, like... it's like Philadelphia. <laughs> like a subway station. <laughs> well, what's going to happen is the orca, the orca is going to be awful. happy, half happy, and half crip or half blood. I mean, it's it's going to come out with gang signs. Oh, nice. Head Schrodinger's Gorka. Oh, yeah. So none of you are vegans then, or vegetarians no, or vegan. Or you would have like known by now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've been over to my house enough. Do years. I look like a vegetarian? <laughs> I think a vegetarian Some vegetarians a, are fat. Has a shape like that. Jordy, you're not that fat. I'm not that fat. I did say. Like saying, yeah. How many vegetables do you have to eat to get fat? <laughs> that's what I want to know. That's a good question. How many, the carrots, how many carrots does it take to get someone fat? Oh, there's a lot I of never made it without who biting. live off of chips and candy, though. Ask Mr. Owl. Oh, that's true, candy. Well, so, but so, vegans don't do any animal products at all, so you've got zero consumption of anything that has, any, like, any byproducts or any dairy or anything that has Flavor, any. Flavor, like nothing. <laughs> Except that there's a new study about <laughs> kale. Flavor. And about quail? Kale. Hail? K-A-L-E. Oh. <laughs> Listen kale. to this. This is amazing. Now they've discovered that vegetables do have feelings. <laughs> because Sorry. there is a caterpillar and when it bites, when it starts eating the plant, the plant lets off toxins. So the cow- caterpillar goes, so it's feeling itself getting eaten. So now vegetarians can't eat vegetables because it hurts them too. <laughs> They're just going to have to eat dirt. They just eat potato chips. <laughs> 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 so wow. plants can feel too. Have you ever tried vegan meals before? Have you ever eaten anything vegan? Yeah. No. I was a vegetarian for 12 years. Keep going. Did you enjoy it? A lot of girls of go through that though. They yeah. go through that vegetarian phase. That was a misogynist thing for you to say, Zach. Usually you're the anti-misogynist. It? It, no, yeah. I'm kidding. Oh, did, did you so say she didn't even see it as that way until you pointed it out. She was He's just like, yeah, right, we do. We do do that as a people. Uh-huh. And you're like, God, you're racist. And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever he says is right, though. <laughs> Sister, seriously. Train it, train just have right. her stop by. I've got, a, I've got a co-worker that works with me out there, and he, uh, he, he's a vegan. Um, for the most part, he, he, he gets almost everything non-animal byproduct. There's a couple pairs of shoes he said that are, you know, are not necessarily vegan shoes. Um, <laughs> vegan shoes. Oh well, God. vegan shoes are no animal byproducts. They're I no leather, you. but That's he's got a couple. That's called barefoot. Yeah. <laughs> um, flip flops. But we had a taco day at work where everybody brought in something for taco day for all of our coworkers. <laughs> Somebody brought. What did you bring, Mike? Pe- people Soy? were. <laughs> this guy Soy? brought in veg, uh, vegan beef for the tacos mm. why don't you think about that for a minute vegan no, I don't want beef to. is it made of soy i don't know what it was made of it tasted like cardboard the only thing that tasted any good on it was hot sauce or real beef that was it It was, oh, it was <laughs> you put real beef on the vegan you're tacos. goddamn right i did because it tasted horrible <laughs> hey vegan beef tastes pretty good until i added my own beef on top yeah yeah it's really good with topped with like actual beef <laughs> yeah. a nice. vegan taco and tons of hot cow. sauce would he be offended if I dripped like the grease from the real beef Fuck on there? Yeah, that's oh. what you do. Right. Oh. <laughs> you have a little extra blood, maybe? In the <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey now. Whoa. Well, let's take a break real quick uh, okay. here in studio, and we'll get uh, Mr. Jordy LaForge some new goggles to wear, and we will be back in just a minute. <laughs> Thanks for listening. All right. The cast here at Living Podcariously is proud to announce we are partnering with Smoke Rings out of Merritt Square Mall in sunny Merritt Island, Florida. And if you're looking for one of Central Florida's largest selection of oil, cigars, pipes, tobacco, and accessories for smoking and vaping, then Smoke Rings is the place to go. Smoke Rings offers the latest products from oils to rigs. I just bought my Kanger Subox from them, and that thing is awesome. 
By mentioning this ad, Smoke Rings is giving Living Pod Curiously listeners 10% off anything you purchase. So check them out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Smoke Rings Merit Square. Or give them a call at 321-453-1422. Awesome. Also check them out at smokeringsonline.com and click the e-cig link to learn some great facts about vaping. And welcome back. That was a great break. I feel better. I feel better too. And uh, so <laughs> I always want to do if you're just joining us <laughs> and nobody's ever just joining us. Hopefully nobody would ever join right at the end of the break coming back know, in. Just coming back. <laughs> That'd be an interesting join. Yeah. Uh, how's our side chick doing? How you doing, Jordy? Jordy's good. <laughs> Good. All right, so Jordy thing... likes podcasting. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you should think about doing your own one day. One day. One day. One day. All right, so I have a question for you two, Adam and Andrea. Shoot. Joy. Since you guys are the uh the token couple on the show. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay, should your significant other have access to passwords on your phone, social media, all that kind of stuff? This almost could be a question for the reverse diary. That's right. But, yeah. sorry, Doesn't go ahead. bother me. Everyone I know knows my password. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It. She only put a one, password one, on. One, one. She oh, okay. only put passwords now on her phone. Everybody does know it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She only put a password on her phone because it forced her to. Right. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes not knowing, knowing. So, oh Jesus! Sometimes <laughs> well, someone thoughts. knowing your password can cost you thirteen million dollars. That just happened to someone a few days ago. Who? Uh, what? Laramie Tunsil, the draft pick. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. not, not like a Spoonerism name. Is that a real name? <laughs> That's a real name. <laughs> Jeremy Lunzel? No. Laramie Tunzel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, somebody decided to put a video on his Twitter account 13 minutes before the draft of him uh, hitting Smoking. a bong with yeah. a gas mask. Yep. And he went mm-hmm. from where he probably would have been around number three all the way down to number 13. That's all right. Hey, Lucky it benefited 13. that whoever team that was that picked him up, though, huh? The Miami Dolphins. That's right. Miami. Have a uh, no, would you let me know your password? Fins up, bitches. Yeah, so I, yeah, so this is sensitive to me. <clears throat> I have nothing to hide, but because I have nothing to hide, yep. I like my privacy. Exactly. I feel now, the same way. I, I would show Andrea everything that I have on every device that I have and maintain. However, to me, there is a level, and I know this sounds like it's a, that you're hiding something because that's the typical thing that uh, most guys would do. Right. But to me... There's a level of privacy that needs to be respected. So, for example, I will never go into a woman's purse. I don't right. care if she says, hey, go get my Nobody lipstick or yeah, go get my he's wallet. Done it. He's had she te- tricked me. She goes, it's not a purse, it's a bag. <laughs> Grab my wallet out of the bag, and then I brought her her wallet. She goes, you just went into my purse. I'm like, no, 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 that's a bag. It's a little different. No, purses. I, I do the same thing. I've always done it. I always just hand the bag. Yeah, pur- the purse, purse is over. off limits to me. I don't want to go through it. Likewise, know. on texts and on everything on her phone. I yeah. never, ever, out of out of my own personal moral choice, yeah. never care. Not that I don't care. I never want to intrude on her privacy, right? Because that's her. That's what she. If if it gets to a point in a relationship where <clears throat> there's cheating or there's texting with somebody else that I shouldn't be reading anyway, to me that relationship is already past the point of no return anyhow. Right. So the maturity of the two that are in the relationship need to just come to that agreement and move on with that. Uh, if I'm not a jealous type in any stretch of the imagination, I don't get jealous. I wish to and, a fault. I wish you could get a little jealous. <laughs> well, that, maybe we can work on trying to make him jealous. We'll maybe. maybe. Oh, it'll work. Tack, mm-hmm. if she lets you bang her right here, I would high five you in the middle of it and see? get you some water. <laughs> it doesn't. I, he should be a little jealous. I did. To no, me, trust, I feel special. Trust me, you haven't seen me down there. He's not going to be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Yeah, I don't. This is, I, I don't know. I don't have the tendency. I, I don't have room in my life for jealousy. We've talked about this in the past. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I, I just don't have room for it in my life. I don't want to go through those emotions. So I specifically make myself appear. Well, I don't even. There, there's. It's not even a tease. I just don't get to that level of emotion. That doesn't mean I don't love my girl any less. That just means. That if just she's, means I'm open for any guy to come and touch me. He well, see, care she said all. she's open for any guy to come. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to break that trust, if you were to break that trust of of my relationship with you, 
I would I would be upset. But not jealous. I wouldn't be jealous, but it would be over. <laughs> that would be the end. I'd be like, well, okay, well, that sucks. I really love this girl. But she obviously isn't getting what she wants to out of me in a relationship, in a partnership, and whatever. She needed to go find that somewhere else. Then that relationship's over. I'll move on to the next thing. Thank you for doing it early enough in our relationship where it doesn't affect the rest of my life. But that, that would be the end of it. That would be it. Now, I wasn't always that way. I've had jealousy issues and emotions in my past. Back mm-hmm. when I was like 24, 23, whatever. Oh, I want to hear this stuff. No, I don't want to bring those up because I was with an ex-wife. and oh, yeah. You're no fun. Yeah, well, I mean. she listens? I, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most likely. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the whole phone and social media thing is a private thing. And it, I would absolutely, I'm on board with you. Like, How is social media I don't have anything. private? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> well, I mean, there's private messages that you speak, you know, you talk to other people you with, do? whatever. Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, you're doing it no. just right. <laughs> but I, I'm on board with you, Adam. I feel the same exact way. I think it's a personal. And the moment the, you know, she demands to see your phone or vice versa, then yeah. the trust is gone and there's no point in moving forward. I did ask to see your phone earlier. You did. I put in my password and was ready to give it to you. Then you realized you didn't know what to do on an Android. So exactly. Did you, <laughs> you have a password on your stuff? phone? Yeah, I absolutely yeah. do. Why, why is that? Well, technically, because of my work, when I have emails on my phone, I have to have a password. That's right. I, I already know what it is. But the, Yeah, and that's it, fine. Uh, I'm not going to broadcast do it. Do you have here. a password on your phone? Anyway? Yeah, it's 1111. One, one. Okay. Do you have a password on your phone? Yeah. No, I don't have one. It's on. my finger. Print, I don't even so. know how to set one. That's but why I mine is. My friends take my phone and use it all the time. Everyone does. My daughter knows it. Everyone knows it. It's just because it made me put one in. Well, what about you, Jordy? I mean, you're married, too. So, like, what do you think? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> What's the question? Great commentary. What's the original <laughs> question? Welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the podcast, Jordy. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll never do be back. Feel- <laughs> <laughs> Jordy do wants feel- to come in. Screw that guy. Do you feel like uh, that it's necessary for couples to know each other's passwords and all that kind of stuff? Or I'm going to you- put it to you this way. I leave my phone out. It has no password. Allow if somebody wants to look, whoever that is, look all you like. But I do feel violated if somebody does that because does that because it's I a think violation. It, of I trust? think it's just freaking rude. Okay, just no, freaking rude to go through. Let me let me go through your messages. Let me go through this. Let me. I'm looking it's for crap. Rude. I don't like that. It's rude for it's anybody, terrible. anybody that no matter who. No, I agree. Significant I'd other, your offended. friend. Yeah, that I'd is be offended if you that's did like it on opening my phone. your mailbox. That's like you know. Yeah. Let me look through your underwear drawer. It's no different. Those are the kind of oh, things you, you just don't, don't look do. at my underwear drawer. <laughs> I put the underwear in that drawer. So I don't get a choice. I th- I think that it's rude, but it's there for if somebody were to do it because they think I'm hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. There it is. Have at it. That's so, exactly right. how on, I feel. On your topic, Tack, have you ever had that couple, that friend of yours that's a that's a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, that is always every time you go out with them, every time you see them in public, every every time anything happens, they're always the shit show. They're always the pain in the ass couple that's super jealous of each other, super yeah. jealous of those actions. Have you ever... Yeah, usually it's not my direct friends. Usually it's a friend of a friend because I don't really like associate with that kind of... Yeah, that's I annoying. understood. Yeah, well, I some, gotcha. Sometimes those friends, I mean... I've seen it. Yeah. We, we just went out. So one of Andrea's co-workers' birthday was this past weekend. And we did uh, we did Preacher Bar over at Cape Canaveral. And then we went out to the port to hang out. And mm-hmm. uh, I was outside vaping. Cause, you know, I mean, even though vaping isn't smoking, I don't do it inside. I went outside to, to vape right. a little bit with the smokers. And uh, this girl comes out and she's there by herself. Her boyfriend hasn't made it off work yet or whatever. So I'm out there vaping and just hanging out with the p- folks outside. And this girl comes out and she's young. She's what, 23 maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. She comes out and she gets on her phone and at just at the top of her lungs is yelling at this guy. Not, not just like having an argument, but yelling at him, calling him every name in the book. And it's all over mm-hmm. the convert. The argument from what I could tell was all over him thinking she was out with other guys when it was just her being out with the coworkers. And I mean, technically there were a couple guys there, me and a couple of the other husbands, but it was not, it was completely innocent, completely blown out of the water. They're perfect right. for each other though. Cause she'll do the same thing back to him. <laughs> like we went out dancing with them and they were on the dance floor. She was dancing with girls out on the dance floor. He walks up to her and says enough. <laughs> and that's all he says and walks Damn. off and just pisses off all the girls. Just all of them. <laughs> it's just a perfect example of people right that just shouldn't be in a relationship. Because you meet somebody yeah. and you like each other, but honestly, you still want to go out, you want to party, you want to hang with girls, you want to talk to girls or boys or your guys or whatever. So you just shouldn't be in a relationship yet. You, this you g- need to just go do your thing, and when you're ready to settle down and not be all crazy, 
Then you get in a relationship. With Jordy, this, at that age. Jordy, this guy is the guy that you would probably hate. He is ridiculously good looking, at least stereotypically good looking. As good looking as Ryan Reynolds. Can, and very confident. <laughs> can go dance with any girl. Can He can talk to most any girl that's out there. And be able to pick him. Well, they, of course, Andrea doesn't. I'm seeing a total not opposite a reaction. It's not He's Andrea's type. Oh, hell yeah, boy. I like me damn rednecks. Oh, is he one of them like really skinny, tall rednecks that just looks like a redneck? No, uh, he's no, short. he's yeah. here. Let me show you a picture of him. Those yeah. guys, for some reason, always seem to get really hot chicks, and they just look really dorky and rednecky to me. I don't know. Uh, and most of Maybe I'm profiling. I don't know. Boop, Maybe I'm racist. Boogie. I'm racist against NASCAR his, Americans. His truck is as big as his house. <laughs> what? Oh, his truck God. is as big as his oh, house. Oh, oh. But apparently Adam is really into him. Apparently. <laughs> well. Okay, now I'm having jealousy issues here. This girl's status is single now. <laughs> Let me so, see her. Let me see her. You know who it is. Was it before? Oh, who? Oh, oh, oh. Was her. it before? Okay. I don't, I, I don't know. I cannot answer that question. <laughs> Well, she already moved. Apparently, out. they're not FBO. <laughs> well, guess what, Tack? This girl is now single. <laughs> um, yeah, that she's a she's a handful. Say, she's a handful. My <laughs> no, that, no, maybe not, you can meet her in a Star Wars chat room. <laughs> a Star <laughs> Wars meetup <laughs> chat room. You listened to that show. I yes, did. You did. I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> you might as well just give her your phone unlocked because yeah, she's going to figure that. it out. No, that's not happening. Well, I uh, I don't. No, I oh, well, I guess I won't be able to show it to. You. He's a good-looking guy. He he reminds me of Connor in a way, just not as muscular. Gotcha. Sarah Connor. <laughs> Sarah Connor. He is not a Connor. Connor <laughs> but they are definitely that shit show couple for us. For our little circle of friends, they it's are definitely. Well, they're definitely not a couple anymore. It's not entertainment. She almost hit me with her phone. She threw. She got so mad. She threw her iPhone six plus. Like fucking chucked it. You should have caught it and got a new phone. It right? didn't. It didn't break, but I. I did. didn't. No, oh, no. Interesting. She have an otter box on it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, she has, box. She has a life. Sounds like a transformer. <laughs> it's, not an, it's not an otter <laughs> box. It's a. It's a beaver thing. box. That's <laughs> what she's got. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Can I see it? Doesn't beaver, beaver kind of describe box like saying tuna fish? Sorry. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> what are we looking at here? Uh, beaver guy. box is redundant. What now? Beaver box is a bit redundant. Redundant. No, this is the guy. Oh, Andrea's show oh. intact. The guy. Do you think he's hot? Uh-uh. No. I know. I don't see what. Let me see. So All right. So two I'm say no. On, he, just... he did grab you know his ass a, a lot request, that right? night. Didn't we have a? Didn't we have a he conversation about this? A couple of times that night. Too. I I can tell if a guy is good looking or not. We've had a conversation about this in the past. I, yeah, I, yeah. I have an ability to judge a guy. Fuck no! What? Exactly. I'm better looking than that guy. Do you agree with me? <laughs> yeah, no, he's not good looking. He's like a well, he, dweeb. He's not ugly, he probably but comes he's off much... like he thinks he's good looking, and that's yeah. what yeah, you're he's perceiving. Very confident. Adam, yeah, you're perceiving confidence in his perception of how he feels. Do you know feels. how much better looking you are Bottom than yourself? him? Yeah, dude. You... I'm, I'm, it's not, I'm not comparing, but that, that's sweet of you to say. Yeah, I would definitely do you, Adam, before I would do that guy. We can we? Can we just be... fight so we can have makeup sex? Oh, we already have three fights. I yeah. did three times. Oh, cool. Oh, all right. Guess hey, what? Jordy, I, had, did so, hold up. I stand corrected, I guess. I think I heard somebody say the R word a minute ago. I didn't hear it. We're talking about retard. <laughs> Jordy. <laughs> Honey, retard. <laughs> yeah, I'll listen for it in post. Don't worry. Gotcha. I'll, I'll, right. uh, I'll beep it out. Mm-hmm. All right. So, hey, Tack, my folks just went to Vegas. You ever been there? Yeah. I think we, I don't know if we talked about that. They're starting to run together, man. I don't know if we've talked about it or not at this point. I don't but know if we have either. Let's assume we haven't. I always give my folks one bet to make in Vegas for me. I give them a $20 bill, tell them to take it to the roulette table and put it on number 11. And yeah. so far it hasn't hit. Uh, hmm. Just saying. I tell it's them weird. to put zero on 44. What do, you, what do you get if it hits? <laughs> there is no 44. Uh, 34 <laughs> to one. So like about 800 bucks. That'd be a nice little score. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. I've hit it. When I've played, I've hit it. A ton of times, on, but with twenty dollars, mm. with like a dollar. No, I would start off with like two hundred dollars and so you bet, put two hundred dollars. No, I meant no, on no, no, just no, one no. number. Oh, I'm no, just saying, I'd how scatter. much? What's the highest you put on one number? The highest you can put. I don't. No, know. no. What you when you, you play? What do you normally do? I you put, put a, a buck on each number. Or something? When I after I won, so I with an X a long time ago went out on a cruise and I hit one of these big hits on the roulette table. And I won, won like twelve hundred dollars. So at that night, I took a quarter chip. That's what I had left over after cashing out. Which is twenty five dollars, and I bet it on number eleven, and it did and not you win. You lost. I just, I, I just, I love playing roulette. That's so my favorite. Your, that's my favorite. I've Vegas never played game. roulette before. Oh, but so much fun! What's your significance with? I have 11? a roulette game in the car. It's my lucky number. That's all. 
What? Said I have a roulette game out in my car. Oh yeah. I've never played roulette before. I always liked the blackjack tables. I always played. That's her game. Definitely a blackjack girl. Yeah. I never could get anywhere with blackjack. I'm always like (laughs) back and forth, back and forth. Well, I'm kind of that way with roulette. That's why it's fun. The problem with blackjack (laughs) is if you don't bet correctly, the other people it's. The t- <laughs> you tried to do that off. <laughs> you tried doing that off mic, but all that we could hear was. Sorry, <laughs> that's all we could hear. I'm like, what are you? Have mic? Am I looking at something? Is that something in your pit? <laughs> oh, poor Jordy has no mic skills. Um, Zero mic skills. I don't even. I don't even remember what I was saying. You just completely threw me off track. I call you Mike. You said you have to bet correctly in blackjack because oh. other people at the table will get pissed. At yeah. You. So if you do it <laughs> bet incorrectly, then the folks that are playing either to your left or right, whichever way the deal goes, will will be upset if you bet too hard or take too many hits or don't take a hit when you're supposed to. <laughs> depending on what the dealer's showing, it's such a frustrating game if, if you're, you're playing it. With you go to like the, if you go to like the two dollar or three dollar table, like the lower table, not the high stakes stuff, they'll actually let you bring the little betting card. Yeah, thing. that's, that's <laughs> and, because the or, other people the, they'll help you and things like that. Now, if you go to high stakes, ain't nobody helping you. They're gonna oh, punch they you in the face. Me. Those those other people playing with you at the same table don't have any teeth. They're you know they don't really care. Everyone's always Bad helped joke. me, even at any table I've been at. Well, you're a good looking girl. I'll just be I mean, like, what? Oh, can you help? What should I do? <laughs> the, They're trying to help you out of your pants. Yeah, <laughs> your boobs popping. They're trying to help I you out of your away pants. With the money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> Said every girl always. <laughs> yeah. As long as I walk away with the money. Shot. <laughs> Shot, 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 shot. Money shot, shot. sorry. Oh, money shot. Got <laughs> okay. it, got it, got it. Uh, yeah, so Vegas is pretty interesting. My uh, my folks go often. Um, I don't know their interval, but they go often. They sometimes take like private trips and don't tell anybody, any family, where they're going until they're already there. Uh, Balling. So Vegas, Vegas has completely changed, like completely. So back in, you know, back in the mobster days, the, it was all adult Mwah. themed, very, you know, very risque, very <laughs> topless <See>? dance. <laughs> then they switched the Vegas, you know, convention visitor beer switched Vegas to a family oriented city. Yeah. And they did a lot of things to attract children. Well, Whoa. then about 15 years ago, they realized this is not the business that Sin City is supposed to be in. So they started to convert all of Vegas back to adult themed adult playtime type entertainment and yeah. that's what they are now today is very that's twice as bad yeah i went to vegas two or three years ago brought my kids they said they both said it was the most fun vacation they ever had in their life it was the most fun yes oh that's they cool. loved it they had a blast so you can take your kids to vegas and do vegas with the kids and have a blast it's Wait, so let me ask it, you the did ability you guys... to do that is there you just kind of have to c- circumvent yourself did around. you walk down the streets or did you take the interconnecting? <laughs> we we would walk down the streets, but not later. Like if you walk down during the day, and we would walk past. Do you the, know where I'm going with this? Yeah, I know. With the, the you're talking about the advertisements for prostitutes. The guys handing out the <laughs> yes. little business cards that are naked yeah, ladies uh, on them. Uh, they, you know what? They're usually respectful. If you're with kids, no one would ever try to hand us that. No All right, one that's ever good. Did. They don't try to slip it to the dad when no one's looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when when the kids are in bed. Yeah. I was trying to slip it to them, baby. If you know what I mean. No, <laughs> the, uh, um, they're, they're, no one tried people, to hand us that, but they all, were there handing them out. All those people handing out those cards are Trump supporters, by the way. I don't know if you know that or not. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've lost on that. They're all Latin. When I was oh. there, they were all Latin. So they're American. not Trump supporters. Oh, That's the okay. gotcha. irony in the statement. But there's a lot of there's a lot of places. You know, people are street dancing and things like that. That's awesome. There's the M and M place. There's the Coke place. There's, Sounds like Disney World. There's um, it's a kind of Disney World feel to it for sure. I will definitely. There's give all it kinds that. of fun game rooms. So you have to just kind of know where to go. Now the big thing was. Our kids didn't understand why there was so many places to play all these games, and that they, they weren't allowed play. to play them. Oh, that's that a good point. especially ch- especially my daughter uh, did not understand that mm-hmm. concept. Like, why can't we play those games? <laughs> oh, those games are only for adults. What do you mean? Like that was that was yeah. foreign to them. Mm-hmm. But uh, beyond that, and then a few casinos wouldn't let us take the kids through the casino. They would make us go around. Like, if we had to go to the restaurant or go here or there, they'd make us go around about. Some places would let us walk right through. Like MGM, you walk right through with your kids. Tack, Jordy has a teenage son. And yeah. his teenage son ended up getting a fake ID, something Papa Giorgio, and ended up with like four, <laughs> four cars. At nice. Right. I put in a dollar, got a car. 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 <laughs> exactly. That's a great movie. That, yeah, that, that movie is so underrated for its comedy. Agreed. <laughs> Vegas yeah. Vacation. Agreed. My daughter had asked me how old you have to be to go in a casino. And I said, well, you have to be 
um, or no, I think it was on the cruise ship or something, 21 or something. She's like, what? Well, or 18. And I, she said, well, I won't drink. I just want to play roulette. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so Santa Claus brought her a roulette game. Aww. She had to have her own casino. She'll be really good by the time she's 18. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, when I went there, I, I, I've only been there once, and it was a long time ago, but I got married <laughs> when I went there. So I did that whole really Vegas wedding. Did you do like a uh, fake Elvis, Elvis impersonator? No, I didn't do anything like oh, that. Thank you, thank you very much. But it was a uh, little white chapel, which you see a lot, like in movies Go and stuff like that. Going to the chapel. It's the it's work. the same place that uh, gonna get married. <laughs> Sorry. Go in <laughs> the chapel. It's like, I want to sing. Love, love. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spring is It's the. Here. Uh, okay, we're done. No, <laughs> and scene. Shut down. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, that was awesome. Uh, it was the same chapel that. <laughs> you remember when Britney Spears got married for like 72 hours? To Kevin Federline or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. K-Fed. Yeah, it's the same place where she got married. So I was, it was a, just like uh, a few months. Before. I was oddly addicted to her back in the my two thousands. Well, yeah, are. I don't. I don't ever look at anything with her. Oh, I mean, yes, you did. her best outfit ever by far. The schoolgirl. No, the red jumpsuit in Oops, I Did It Again for one reason and one reason alone. I don't know. Camel toe. <laughs> Ninja slipper. Ninja slipper what? <laughs> Speaking of camel. Moose no knuckle. <laughs> My camel's in the closet. Uh, Does that mean me. it's gay? <laughs> no, no offense to it's our gay, gay listeners. It's gay and not telling anybody that it's gay. Is what that means. Adam put my camel toe in the closet. Oh, I sure did. It's terrible. I sure did. I, I hit her camel toe, but I exposed her. What do you call boobs? Camel boobs. Boobs. Camel boobs. boobs. Yeah. Camel boobs. <laughs> camel tits. Oh. All right. On that note, we're going to take another break. We're going to return, and Andrea Joy is going to read us questions submitted by female listeners to show at livingpodcariously.com for this week's segment of Living Podcariously's Guyry. All right. Guyry. Peering into the inner thoughts and expressions of men. Women submit questions for Adam and Tack to get brutal, honest admissions. We call this the Gyre. Gyre? Really? Is that the best we could come up with? So we have some interesting <laughs> questions for you guys this week. Are you guys ready? Yes, we are. No, we, and we have a special guys. guest to help us. Oh, do yes. I get to answer some of these? Yes, oh, you do. Oh, no, you do. have oh, to answer them. Oh, boy. By the way, we're, we're doing something for that listener named Aaron. He wants us to do some reverse questions. So we haven't had any submitted by guys yet to ask to Andrea. So if you can think of any questions during this that a guy would want to ask a girl who normally wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't normally ask a girl, now's the time to ask them. But Understood. we'll let her get through hers first, and then we can come up with ours. Okay. All right. Let's see. We'll start with this one. It's from Amanda. She did not say where she was Uh-oh. from. So Amanda from nowhere. Uh oh. Do you think it's okay to flirt with other girls while in a relationship? Oh, okay. Jordy, you're our honored guest. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you answer it first? No. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, not at all. What's the definition of flirting? See, this opens up a can of worms. This sure. Pandora's box right here. Well, so flirting can be anything from uh, suggestive joking. Innocent, suggestive joking. To, okay, that's probably commonly happening. Then it could be devious, like holding eye contact or giving a smirk that isn't really necessary. That's also flirting. What's the uh, the cat and mouse really type, touching? Like, and like, go through all the examples. Give me every example, <laughs> all eight hundred thousand, <laughs> and I'll just check them off. Yes, no, no, yes. I, I think it might depend on the relationship you're in, whether your significant other sees Spot that on. as something that. Is right or wrong? So it's diff- going to be different for different couples. Spot At on. least you didn't say as long as she doesn't see it. Uh, <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you that. ended that sentence. <laughs> I kind of agree with with uh, our boy here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much spot on accurate. So the actual question is what? Sorry, is it okay to flirt with girls oh, while you're in a relationship? 
Well, no, it's never okay to flirt. I mean, that's not... Well, some couples are very, very, very open. Right. Yes, they are. So okay. flirting is a turn-on to some people. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's always a safe answer to say it depends on the couple. But Yeah. But aren't we asking what we think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's always there's different levels of flirting, which we <laughs> talk about. Yeah, exactly. You know? so, there's yeah, just so many different case levels, It's case-by-case basis, I guess. Yeah. I personally would say it's perfectly fine, but I wouldn't out of respect. I wouldn't do it out of respect. There goes the whole... Uh... Well, there's a difference between flirting and then being deceivy, de- deceitful. Right. I vehemently well, believe that if you try... Whatever, dude. What? Nothing. <laughs> what, what? What? I just... I don't know. What? Keep talking. <laughs> Sounds like you said something about Vietnam. Believe. <laughs> Jordy called me out on mispronouncing the word but using it correctly in oh. a sentence. Vehemently is actually... Vehemently. Vehemently. <laughs> Yes. So it's okay for you to go out and flirt with other girls as long as I'm not watching. No. <laughs> Boy, she tried to trap you into that. That was a trap question, wasn't it? That's a trap. No, I would never flirt with another girl uh, uh, because you don't want me to because you would be uncomfortable. So I, I don't have a necessity to do it. I don't need to. But I don't think that it would be wrong. Like if you flirted with another guy, I'm I'm fine with it. But that's because of my security. You should, you should not be. <laughs> hey, she flirts with me. It's, and it. it's okay with You've me. You've seen it. Yeah. I mean... She's held your dick, Tack. It listen. That's it's okay to me. Is that considered flirting? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Wait, was that's I passed out during that time? Friend. What happened? Yes. I mean, you needed, help in the sh- yeah, you needed help in the shower. you needed help in the shower. Little totally tug, different. tug and rub. All right. Next question. <laughs> rub and tug. Right. Rug and tub. So this is from Emily in California. Why don't guys wear cuter underwear? <laughs> <laughs> With like. It was like angels on it or something? Like underoos. I, well, girls underoos. have all different kinds of, you know, thongs and... You don't want us wearing thongs. All that. Oh, God, no. no. Like what? Do you have an example? I know it's not your question, but... <laughs> My ass would swallow the thong, you'd never find it again. <laughs> I mean, don't you get tired of just like the plain old stuff? No. You don't wear anything cuter? But what? Like what? Give me a definition of cuter. No, because it has to be one kind of fabric, or there's all kinds of well, strange had, running like, going shapes. on. Back in my day, shapes. back in the tw- when I was in my twenties, I had a girl that bought me like silk boxers. Yes, I had a pair of those back in the yeah. day. But I'm too fat to wear stuff like that now. There's just too much going on down there. <laughs> so I need support. Guys' underwear, though. <laughs> so there's a little difference between guys and girls in the underwear department. Guys' is underwear is is utilitarian. There's functions for different <laughs> underwear. Right. That's a word? Utilitarian? Yes. You don't know that word? I want to look it up. It's, so, it's very common. I've never heard it. <laughs> what? To, Are you just kidding? Know. That's the word you're That's a common very word? common word, dude. It is? Yes. yes. I've never heard it in my Jordy, life. Jordy, I've used it like probably within the past two years at least six times. <laughs> so boxers, all right, but let's start with boxers. That allows the most airflow and freedom of the boys downstairs that allows the boys to stay as cool as possible. Certain temperatures of those boys could cause certain things to produce more or less of reproductive fluids. All right. If you go see a doctor and you have low sperm count, he may tell you or she may tell you, whatever your doctor is, to get whitey tidies. That keeps the boys up closer to the body, raising the core temperature of the testicles. That's the whole reason the guy's testicles are on the outside is so they stay cooler core temperature than your body does. So if you're low sperm count, You'll have those whitey tidies, and it'll pull them up closer, keep them, keeping them warmer. What? Whitey so tidies. maybe Emily <laughs> they're tidy whitey's, not the whitey tidies. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. You're right. You whitey tidies. Whitey? whitey. Whitey tidies. She said we should bedazzle our underwear. Yes. Bedazzle. Bedazzle. Have you guys ever worn or seen Sparkle some? Up. I guess seen it would be something pretty odd. But have you ever seen the underwear where it has like an elephant trunk or a? Yes. Yeah. You want me to wear one of a those? Flamingo. You, you're the flaming O. Do you want me to wear one of those? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, done. I'll go to Fairville and buy one. But I heard that PETA doesn't like <laughs> those anymore. Never mind. <laughs> I guess Who's we can't PETA? do that. I used to have one that was an orca. <laughs> this is a free range flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> flaming O. Free range bedazzled underwear. Oh, man. Wow. So Jordy, you got to come back more often. Thanks. Okay, this one's from Sophia at Ooh. FSU. Sophia Vargara. What's the best gift you ever received from a girl? Do blowjobs count? Of course. That's the first thing I went to, too. Jordy, you go first. You're a guest. You you take all these first, buddy. (laughs) He's trying to remember what his wife gave him. (laughs) Best gift I've ever received from a girl? Xbox One? (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, mine was given the gift of my son. I was going to say uh, that. <laughs> you motherfucker. You want my son, too? Yeah, yeah I have the same too. answer. Her vagina. <laughs> I want to change my answer. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, outside of the 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 tacky statement of my child, <laughs> tacky tack um, statement. Let's. See, I was actually. I don't know. Uh, her so hand. nothing's sexual. <laughs> her hand in marriage. Her hand in marriage. 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 <laughs> you don't get many guests, do you, Adam? No, I really don't. No. No. I'm usually the one that gives. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Yeah, it's actually a tough one. That too. is a hard. That's a hard question to answer. Yeah, unless you're answering like that. One of I my favorite. Easy for me. Though. One of my favorite novelty. Well, not novelty, but one of my favorite. What is a well? One of my favorite gifts that I've ever received was I've got it, that big toolbox that's out there. I thought and you were it, gonna point to my picture. Oh, that's sentimental. <laughs> Damn it! I'm, this is a losing situation. I don't, my child. Next question. <laughs> yeah, these are all my, actually my okay, Andrea question. questions for Adam. That's really all. Okay, they are. this is from Angela from Ohio, Ohio. our favorite Ohio. state. So, so Jordy, we have downloads from all over the U.S. and now 38 countries in the world. Ohio, Toledo area is the highest downloading out of all of them for the last like four or five shows. I don't know anybody in Ohio. I've been asking them to email in. Other than the diary, we haven't had anybody let us know how they heard of us or anything. They love us in Ohio, and we love them. Ridiculous Ohio. numbers. Oh. Possibly Ohio. you put something in one of the titles of your episodes. Trump? Is Ohio yeah. a Trump state? You, you put something in one of the titles of your episodes that was, people in Ohio was like a common local thing, a local subject somehow. Resonated you, with those yeah, citizens. Yeah, resonated somehow. Are you sure so that's a word? Or so resonated. you assume. Resonate such. evil. <laughs> that, you assume, that you assume, Jordy. I'm just guessing. I'm never just, done podcast. Exactly. Before. I'm just throwing <laughs> it out there as a possibility. <laughs> All right. Sorry, okay, Andrea. Okay, well, Angela wants to know, assuming you're not married, if your girlfriend got pregnant, would you stay? Of course. <laughs> What kind that's, of question Stay is with that? the girl? Well, mm-hmm. the, but, hmm. Well, that's, I mean, that's how say, I got my son. I mean, stay. <laughs> like, stay on earth? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just would you stay? Would I stay in the relationship, I assume, is what the assumption is there. It depends on the relationship. That doesn't make any sense. So if you're with your girlfriend and she got pregnant, would you leave her? Is that what she's asking? Probably. I feel bad yeah. for this girl. Sounds like she's yeah, not No, stuff. like, what the fuck? She should call in. Yeah, definitely. Angela, we have some guys here that are willing to talk to you. Tack. Yeah, I'm willing to do more than talk. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely would stay. I mean, I, I'm going to assume that the relationship is healthy and that the child is just going to scare away the the boyfriend in the situation. That just so doesn't make sense. If a guy me. runs, well, no, that actually happens more than you I probably realize. I know it realize. happens, but Jesus. Well, you're a chivalrous yeah, yeah. kind of man. You're you're a man that takes your responsibilities seriously. Yeah. A lot of men don't do that. It's not just chivalry when you have a kid. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Uh, All right, yes. assuming well, you're not I mean, married also... and she gets pregnant with someone else's baby, would you stay? Ooh, that's is that different. maybe what she was saying? Ooh. Maybe. What color is the baby? Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh. It'll Jordy. take nine months to find out. Jordy's off the show. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Never invited back, Jordy. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I take care of two children that aren't mine. But, I mean, it wasn't like that kind of a situation. But, uh, you know. <laughs> infidelity would be a difficult thing for me to Infidels. forgive. That'd be that'd be a hard one. Of course, you wouldn't stay with her. For the, Not necessarily with a girlfriend. She gets pregnant from some other dude. What if you're she gonna was stay raped? with her. Who the hell uh, would do different. that? That's a that's she's different. a victim. She's a victim, not a a person that's causing the what problem. What she just told you she was? Well, oh, man, we're geez. really getting into some weird stuff. These are some serious okay. hypotheticals. She, she lives in Georgia. To answer yeah, the ori- Ohio, West Ohio. Virginia. Oh. To answer the original <laughs> question, if I was not married, my girlfriend got pregnant. Of course, I'd stay. Done and done. All right, the next question. Ariel from Orlando. Oh, All right. I, is that the mermaid? Ariel. Mm-hmm. Disney. What is a fashion trend you hate about girls? Oh, clothes. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Mom jeans are coming back. I hate mom jeans. The high-waisted jeans. Mom shorts. Oh, mom those jeans. are horrible. Hor- unless there's good camel toe showing. Other than that, they are horrible. Get rid of the mom jeans. I don't want to see those 70s mom jeans coming back into style. Even if they're bell bottoms, the waist's coming up to like the high ribs. Uh, yeah. no, no. But if there's good camel toe, you don't mind? <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, it's a wash at that point because it's okay to look at if, You've got some, you know, sculpting going on, but other than that, sculpting. no. <laughs> sculpting. No, that's I hate. I don't. Jeans. I don't like too much makeup. 
I think we discussed that before. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Jordy know. I can't Todd. Think of anything. Short skirts with shorts underneath. I hate that. <laughs> Skorts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, thing. skorts and yeah. unless you're under that and that's really definitely pretty. not a that's definitely not a current trend. Skorts, but you know, no. there is nothing worse than getting the glorious shot of a of a of a live you know thing you're not supposed to see in public, like an upskirt or something, uh-huh. and it be <laughs> shorts. And and shorts underneath. Oh, it's such a just disappointment. Don't even wear skirts and just wear shorts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's not <laughs> agreed. I don't like those either. That's Good like call. you're kind of trying, Stupid. but you're like not really. I was like, I'm gonna pretend like I'm slutty looking, but I'm really modest. No, <laughs> can, can we add something Just to wear that? Pants really prove. I, w- I want to add something to that, guys. So, what one piece of clothing do you wish you would see more of on girls? What fashion trend would you like to see Yoga more of? Yoga pants. Yoga pants. It is for me too. <laughs> yes, agreed. I wear those all the time. I know. Not when we're here. I like Just it. Saying, Jordy. I don't know. I have one. You don't have a fashion trend that you like to see worn more? Fashion trend. By women? I'm not really up on the fashion trends. <laughs> well, what what turned you on? Uh, he wants to see skirts Short without skirts, skirts without shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, All right. On sorry. windy days. <laughs> this is another Orlando one. This is Mindy from Orlando. We got a lot of questions this week. Mm-hmm. She wants to know, do stretch marks bother guys? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Jordy, you're first. Okay, speaking if I was in the single life, right? I'm really hoping she's self-conscious about these, uh, so that way I have a better shot with her. (laughs) 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 Uh, I need low confidence. (laughs) Jordy's trolling at Jenny Craig Uh, Clinics. (laughs) (laughs) With a box of donuts. And a rose. <laughs> and a rose. <laughs> Dressed in a three-piece suit. Uh, and, and zero dignity. Yeah. <laughs> but all the game in the world. That's all he uh, needs. Apparently. That is funny. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's fine. I don't... Yeah. Hmm. So, to me, most... The stretch marks that I've seen in my life are, are uh, significant marks from childbirth. From <coughs> having a child. Some very, you know... <laughs> Some women have them not from having children, and that's pretty identifiable where they're located. But a lot of the women that I've seen that have them have them because they've had a child. To me, that's those are like badges. You've earned something. Badges? To those me. are my oh, tiger stripes. We don't need stinking badges. badges. <laughs> What'd you say? Those are my tiger stripes. <laughs> <laughs> tiger so to me, they're stripes. indifferent. Nice. To me, I, think... I just thought it was funny because the first half of that answer... Was you defining what? <laughs> Funny exactly what a stretch mark was. It was, it was a nice like way his. for me to say certain stretch marks yes, certain stretch marks no. Okay. So childbirth stretch marks yes, fat stretch marks no. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Kind of. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I, I've seen uh, honesty here. I've seen my subtle, subtle stretch marks <laughs> all the way to like really bad stretch marks, and I've been with girls with both, and you know, both of them, both of them. But uh, it's all right. I mean. It's how Whatever. you rock them. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Add some makeup on them. Make them look like no, zombie he scars. Like be dazzle them. He doesn't yeah, like makeup. Like <laughs> yeah. Put you some be, yoga pants why don't, over them. Why don't women be <laughs> yeah. dazzled their their stretch? <laughs> but if they made for them the look reverse like, gyre. What if they on Halloween made them look like uh, uh, scars of like zombie thing? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, the rotting don't flesh. Want to accentuate those. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got, got two it. more here, guys. Um, this one's from. What should I do first? Suzanne in Florida Uh-oh. wants to know. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know that name? <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble. What Uh-oh. do men talk about in bathrooms? Specifically tack. <laughs> what the hell? We don't, we don't talk in bathrooms. We don't talk oh, in bathrooms. No, 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 no. Wait, I think I know where this is going. If you're sitting down for number two in a public restroom and you have other guys in other stalls, that's probably where this is going, I would assume. I have right, no we have to, idea. We have to make this assumption. How did this subject even come up? <laughs> we have a cabana boy in there fanning us, bringing us umbrella drinks while we sit there on a chase. The girls' bathroom is awesome. Gotcha. Guys, we don't do that. No. <laughs> we don't talk in a bathroom. No but you may go in there with your buddy, but it's like, it's really Would you like dumb to play shit. a game of battle shits? <laughs> <laughs> the only time I'll ever talk to somebody... Obviously, is if I need something in there that my stall is out of. Can you spare a square? <laughs> I don't have a square to spare. But I, I've done it in the past, especially when I'm at a bar and drinking, when uh, I want to fuck with somebody in a stall beside me. Like, I really want to fuck with them. Like, uh, throw on an accent and do a French man or something. Just just to just to fuck with the person that's taking the a shit. The only accent he can do. Yeah, I did an Obama last week and wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty good. Two weeks ago, whatever it was. 
It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. Perfect, Generally, but... there's no not really any talking. Are we talking Dukes of Hazard? <laughs> <laughs> Generally, <laughs> Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> nice. So, where do you guys talk about your dates? Because we all go in the bathroom not and talk the about bathroom. the guys that we're with. Oh, here's our conversation like that. You know, like, hey, you see that chick in the skirt? Yeah, she was pretty hot. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I saw shorts, so I'm out of here. I'll meet you outside. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I'll meet you outside. Jordy really really hates the fucking shorts with skirts. I mean, skirts with shorts. Uh, (laughs) Oh, that's funny. That's really about an extended So you want to know when we talk talk. about about our dates is when you guys go to the bathroom, we'll sit out there and be like, you you think I got a shot with her? So the guys talk when the girls are in the bathroom. Yes, that's where we talk. Did did I just give away part of the guy code? I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. No, that one's okay. It stinks in the bathroom. I don't want to talk about my date in there. It the <laughs> smells like bathroom. shit. <laughs> so, reverse guy, or you? What do you girls talk about? We talk about the guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Great answer. He's, he's got a big debt. Do you ever just mm-hmm. go in there just to talk and not even go to the bathroom? Yes. All oh the my time. god! No, I would never. If you walked well, into I mean, a man's bathroom, I promise you would you. not do that. When your friend drags you off, oh, come with me to the bathroom. Like, hey, Adam, if you don't have to go, let's let's do it. Hey, Adam, let's go to the bathroom and have a conversation. Yeah, so. Okay. Adam, what the... Oh, my God! <laughs> Dude, what the hell did you eat? Courtesy flush, How's, man. What the fuck? How's your date going? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Tell me later. Hey, before you leave, give me a square. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we Slips. get beautiful for the guys while we're in there, too. Actually, more for each other, but... Thank you for admitting that. <laughs> I've said that a billion oh, yeah. times. Girls well, dress girls up for other for girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the girls notice more, and the guys... That's true. They notice those shorts under the skirt too, and they think they're cute. Girl, you wore them jeans. Girl, you wore them jeans last week. You know it. I've seen some of these shorts under the skirts that they don't really look like shorts. Honest. They look like freaking like uh, biker shorts. Like no, like what's that? What's that stuff you you wrap around? Like if you have an injury, ace band. They, they look like damn ace band shorts. Offside. That, those are called spanks. <laughs> Traveling. Those are called spanks. Very good. It's both. What? They're called Spanx. Spanx. Yeah, they, they look like That's they look like, like ace bandages. Suck everything in. Thank you very much. But That's the one thing worse. with Spanx is it's got to come out somewhere. So, <laughs> Muffin top. So you got you got the ones on here. Your legs could like be falling out the bottom of it or out the top. And... Now, if the Spanx slash shorts are causing some muffin top. And it's maybe a little bit higher drift shirt. Okay, I, I could I could deal with that. I guess you think that's it would be a benefit. You like muffin top a little bit. A yeah. Little, yeah, it's a benefit of that. I guess. Yeah, I like a little muffin top. Yeah. Yeah. What about you guys? You like muffin? What top? muffin top? A little yeah. muffin top. I mean, you're the, I, you taught me yeah. the expression muffin top years yeah, and years ago. Neither, it's neither. I mean, to me, it's neither good nor bad. It's not something that's sexually attractive to me. I like a girl that oh, has see, like a, a little, figure. I don't like yeah. straight. Like no. one of our friends is. She's a good looking girl. But she has no ass. She has no meat on her. It literally goes from legs to back. Just whoosh, them legs up. go all the way up to her neck. <laughs> that's what it <laughs> to means. Her neck. A head, just a head sitting on some legs. Yeah, that's it's with just n- not attractive. With nipples on her knees. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a country song waiting to be written right there. <laughs> or nipples on, nipples on, her, on knees. her knees, or that could, that could be your '90s band name. <laughs> nipples on her knees. <laughs> all right, guys. I have one last question for all you. All right. This one is from Natalie, who is 20 years old. Youngin. From Ohio. Right up, right up your alley. <laughs> More Ohio <laughs> questions. What does sex mean to you? Oh, my God. Oh. How do you have a wow. baby? Talk about a loaded Where question. Where did babies come from? Uh, Jordy? This is Jody? What? Jordy? This Why is you. Why does Jordy have to keep answering this question? <laughs> You're our guest. <laughs> I have to keep going for What does sex mean to me? What does sex mean to you? My God, I can't believe this woman is letting me do this to her. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you think about during uh, sex. Oh. <laughs> uh, what does sex mean to me? 25 seconds of pure bliss. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest question. That is an unusual one. Um, well, I know Adam says that it's not anything emotional or anything. He could just have sex with anyone. No, I said you can detach oh, emotion. <laughs> damn. I said you can detach emotion from sex. This is what I do with every week, by the way. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's just the two of them just like, you know, I'm just like over here. Sex with a person that you're in love with is fantastic. Because it, it, there's emotion wrapped in with that physical uh, exhilaration of what's going on. But you can also have sex and have that physical part without having an emotional connection. Does that count as flirting? No, that counts as, <laughs> swing, that counts as swinging. That's is what cheating. That counts as. You know what that is. Yeah, exactly. Mm. 
Uh, girls are a different for most of the time. Girls are a different cup of tea, man. They they have they, emotions. They can't have sex it. without that emotional attachment. Guys, mm-hmm. to me, I think that guys can very easily have sex without that emotional yeah, attachment. Absolutely. So I definitely have not given it up for anyone that I didn't feel anything for. Huh? Yeah, All I right. definitely have. So you love tack? <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? So <laughs> here's an interesting question. So if there's tons of guys that have and will give it up without emotion and tons of girls who will not, a lot of very misled women in this world. Ding, ding, ding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or a lot of very slutty women Girl, who don't have sex try, for well, emotion. Girls <laughs> try to do that unemotional sex, um, but it always now, let's not Let's not categorize all. There are I'm exceptions sorry, to the rule. There are exceptions but to poor Natalie wants lot. to know what it means. Uh, what what means? What sex means. I'm not, She's I don't know. Confused. Tell her to look at Wikipedia. Huh. I, yeah, this is a different. <laughs> that's, that's just an odd question. I don't know how to answer that one. Yeah, I don't know how to It's different either. for every couple that are engaging in the experience. If you're, to me, if a, the guy and the girl that are in love are having sex, then it's just, you know, an ex, an expression of their emotions I for think each maybe other. maybe she's wondering if, let's just pretend this Natalie girl is in a relationship with somebody and now she's sleeping, she's sleeping with a guy. She wants to know, does this mean he's really into me and he's thinking about a future or is he just banging me? Were you just going to have to ask him that because it's different from person to person? Yeah. If that's what you're trying Good. to get at, Being we can't answer that question that for you. Sense. The guy you're sleeping with Correct. won't be I mean, able to answer that question. Jordy. She's only 20. She's probably kind of like what Jordy was saying. I can't believe she's letting me do this. That's what he's thinking and that's what sex means to him. So, yeah. You I'm assuming he's around, around 22. That a, Jordy, that's a good answer. Yeah. That was a really good ding, answer. Thanks. And that is the end of the guy session. Well, well, hang on. Do we have any questions back for a female? I already asked one. You asked that one earlier in the show. Yeah. Do you have any questions, Jordy, that you would ever like to ask a girl? Get an honest answer, no matter no matter what. You would get it out of out of Andrea right now. Do you wear shorts under your skirt? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear anything under my skirts. Oh, ding, 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 ding. We have Knocked that one out of the park. Yeah, you have a winner. <laughs> And, I, I have nothing. Honestly. And Jordy, she's got a she's got two sisters. You want me to introduce you? No. Yeah, no. I'm saying that for what? Time. Jordy. No. Do you want me to send some of my skirts with you? Jordy, to wear or to put on other women? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I know Jordy is happily married. Jordy is married. Yes. yes. I just met his wife. Could borrow some skirts. <laughs> That'd be cute. The ones Aww. with nothing underneath. Very interesting. <laughs> I think Girls like to share clothes. I think I'll talk to you off the show. <laughs> not nearly ever as awkward as it has been in the studio before and you know that, <laughs> I hate that. i'm all set yeah <laughs> i'm all set <laughs> all right well that is the end of the episode i appreciate everybody listening and stopping by and thanks for jordy for stopping by yeah we loved you having jordy. you here buddy hopefully thanks. we'll have you back in studio with us one day again soon one day it was fun cool Indeed. we thought so too and the lovely Andrea Joy, always a joy. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Hey, if you guys want to submit your questions to show at livingpodcariously.com for the diary or for topics or anything like that, just hit us up. We respond back almost daily. So if you get something, if you send something, we'll respond back to it usually same day. Yeah, guys, and send me some questions. I can answer anything you need right. to know about. Them. Aaron, that's for you, boy. I, I've just got saying. a good, by the way, I got a good name because you guys have the diary. I thought of a really good original name for hers, the diary. What do you think? <laughs> Diabolical. <laughs> I vehemently, I vehemently disagree with you. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the end of the episode. I appreciate it. Once again, my name is Tack. And across from me, as always, I'm Adam. And yeah. I'm Andrea. And we're, we are Lumen Park Kirsten. Thanks a lot, Jordy. <laughs> Thanks, Jordy. See you guys next week. See you. Bye.